Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the character composer and how you can edit and customize your own characters. The first thing you'll need to know is that there are two main types of characters in Crazy Talk Animator, image and vector based. You can see both types here. Let's enter the puppeteering panel first and I'll demonstrate the facial puppeteering of the vector based character. The vector based characters have libraries for their eyes, mouths, and all other facial features. On the other hand, image based character faces are made from a single image. In this case, the head will need to be fitted and animator will morph it to show emotion by using the breakthrough method perfected from previous versions of Crazy Talk, which focused only on the face. As you can see, there is no sprite replacement, only facial morphing. I'll delete this character now and select my vector based character to edit in the character composer. Enter by selecting the icon on the top left. If I select different sections in the top, I can replace various parts of my character by simply double clicking. Some replacements will require small adjustments, but here I'm only using animator embedded content. I can do the same thing with the facial sprites. If I select the eyes, I can simply go to my library and double click to replace them. I'll do the same thing for the nose and mouth to give our character a totally different face. If I select an individual item like the back of the hair in this case, I can permanently modify its rotation, size, and position by entering the sprite editor. The selection box will turn green, indicating that any modification is now permanent. Another thing I can do is change the color of my character's body parts. Here I've selected the hair, and I'm going into the color editor. I can select each area of the hair separately here, and change the color by using the sliders. If I deselect Affect All, only a certain area, in this case the front hair, will be altered. When I select Affect All, you'll see the change is universal. I can also modify the color of different areas of each sprite as well, like you see me doing here. In addition to hair and clothing, skin can also be grouped. I can alter a single area of skin or use the Affect All option to change the entire skin color for my character. This is an excellent and easy way to customize the ethnicity of your characters. The contrast, hue, and saturation can also be adjusted for various effects. Next I need to select Return to Stage Mode to finalize the changes. Once my character is loaded up in Stage Mode, then I can apply an animation to see the result of my modifications. I showed you puppeteering before, but another way you can animate vector based characters is through sprite replacement animation. I'll use my character here as an example. If I scrub ahead on the timeline to a different point in my animation, I can open up the sprite editor and select a different sprite for the eye here to make a winking motion. After I've done that, I can scrub ahead again and change both eye sprites once more. The eye sprite library for vector based characters has a number of different elements in it that represent the eye in different stages of expression. You can change them manually according to your preference, and even layer them over facial puppeteering clips. Mouth sprites follow the same rules as eye sprites, and can also be replaced at different intervals. Here I'm adding a bit more of a smile to my character while she's doing her dance. You can scrub back and forth through the timeline to preview what your spray replacement animation will look like, as I'm doing here. Once you finish, play back the full thing, and you can see your custom character doing your custom animation in minutes. 